Imagine you are a business analyst who need quick reports on sales performance. You use Power BI, but what if your company also needs a large scale data storage, AI and real time analytics? That's where Microsoft Fabric comes in. But what's the difference between them and which one should you use? Today, we will break it all down. We will understand what is Power BI, what is Microsoft Fabric, key differences between them and who should use Power BI and who should use Fabric, how they work together for a complete data solution and a decision guide to help you choose the right tool. Let's get started. Let's start with Power BI. Power BI is a business intelligence and data visualization tool. It allows users to create interactive dashboards and reports from various data sources. So as I told, Power BI is a business analytics tool in which you can import a data from various data sources, create a visualization, data visualization. You can also create a DAX that is data analysis expression, like how you will do it in the Excel. You will create reports, dashboards. You your primary target will be the business analyst. Okay, like business analyst will be doing all these things and the decision makers seeking self Power BI solution. So this is the example of Power BI desktop, how it looks like. So in Power BI, we have three components, like three main thing. One is Power BI desktop, where you can download and install Power BI. You can do everything in your own desktop. Power BI service is a cloud-based solution where you can publish these report whatever you have created in the power bi desktop and then you can collaborate with your friends peers everyone power bi mobile is you can use power bi on the go now if you just click on this blank report okay um so just if you click on this blank report you can see you can import the data from anywhere okay so you can just click on the get data you can see there are various options to import your data from everywhere almost from the cloud, from the server, uh, online services, it may be the website or anything. So it's very easy to use. And on the right side, you can see that there is a data visualization option available. So you can use that as well. So this is about Power BI. So once you have completed everything, you will be publishing this. You will be publishing a report, whatever you have created in the Power BI, and then you'll be uh, publishing it in the cloud services. So this is Power BI desktop. If you are looking to enhance your skill in Power BI, you just go to my YouTube channel. So here it is, Gomes Tech Talks. So once if you click on this playlist, you can see playlist specifically for Power BI, that is Power BI in English, Power BI in Tamil. You can also see Power Query Editor, which is completely about uh, ETL, that is a trans uh, transforming your data into a proper readable form and proper format. And this is Power BI Services Bootcamp, which happened before a week. It's a live session. And you can also see all the live sessions in this live session panel. The main key feature of Power BI is what drag and drop report building, connects to Excel, se connects to Excel SQL Server, Cloud, Apps and everything. You can use DAX, okay? And also a self-support BI, uh, that is what self-service BI, which is a business intelligence. So business users don't need IT teams for every report. And it's available, as I told, it's available in Power BI Desktop, Service and Power BI Mobile. <clears throat> now, imagine you are a sales manager who needs to track revenue and customer trends. With Power BI, you can pull data from your CRM, visualize top performing products and make quick business decisions all within a user-friendly dashboard. This is what Power BI. <coughs> Let's talk about Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is an all-in-one data platform designed for organization that need large-scale data analytics, AI, and real-time data processing. <coughs> so Fabric has one leg, a unified data storage system, which is like a OneDrive for all your enterprise needs. So this is how actually fabric looks like. This is your fabric. And here you can see one link. Okay, so once if you click on this general, you can find all the recommended options here. Okay, uh, you can find <coughs> data factory here. So this is the data factory. Okay, which is an advanced data pipeline for ETL, which is extract, transform and load. Whereas if you want to do this extract, transform and load, you have in Power BI, you have to use Power Query Editor, but in Fabric, you will be using a data factory. 
now to do your data engineering fabric supports apache spark for big data processing here you also have data science that is ai and machine learning integration it has real time intelligence as well which handles a streamlined data from iot devices and web application here you can also see power bi which is a visualization directly from one leg of course you can also create your data reports were dash reports in the power bi desktop as well but once you publish you know it will be here okay so power bi in fabric it's a cloud based solution where we call it as a power bi service if you want to publish it to someone if you want to collaborate if you want to do something right from uh, all the stuff like data science data engineering um handling the data in a better way creating a pipeline like this so everything is possible with the help of the data <clears throat> okay so a bank for example when you will require a fabric a bank wants to analyze millions of customer transaction to detect fraud in real time using microsoft fabric they store transaction data in one leg process it with ai and detect suspicious activity instantly Power BI then creates fraud detection reports for risk analysis. So I hope you understand what is the role in Microsoft Data and AI ecosystem. Both the tools like Power BI um, and Desktop is Power BI services. Power BI is a part of Fabric, Microsoft Fabric. So both Fabric and Power BI is very important for data and AI ecosystem. With Power BI focusing on data visualization and reporting, while Microsoft Fabric emphasizes data storage, engineering, real-time analytics, proper ETL process, everything. It also enhances data-driven decision making. So the main purpose of this one is what to make you clarify about the difference difference between the Power BI and the Microsoft Fabric. Who should use? Who should study what? you know if you are a data scientist what you should study if you are a data analyst what should you be ready with so this is what the ultimate aim of this presentation so as we already discussed about the power bi it is actually used for um, your data your um, visualize and everything visualization everything it's a separate product so it has all these things and you can just visualize only visualizing the data it has a self services power bi dax which is a data analysis expression which is like um um <coughs> like what to say it's like a um, um a uh, function which you usually use it in the excel if you have already used it so it allows user to build a complex data models that enhance data analysis capabilities you can create reports with the help of with the help of power bi desktop so with the help of a power bi service you can also create a dashboard okay so who can use this so power bi is best for business analyst who need quick reports and dashboards decision makers who want self service analytics it's not mandatory that you should be a in a computer science background or you should uh, you should have a computer science knowledge okay so whoever you may be even if you are from a mechanical background if you are a civil background if you are from finance background so whatever the background you are from power bi is easy to understand make your data even more efficient okay so organization even the organization working with structured data like excel sql uh, databases cloud apps etc they can use it let us have an example like a finance department wants to monthly profit and loss report they use power bi to pull the data from their erp system and create a dashboard showing revenue expenses and forecast so this these are the audience of a power bi okay so where is microsoft fabric so as i told <clears throat> who should use the microsoft fabric the data engineers because you will be dealing with the data tools service right from creating end to end perform uh, platforms like for the data management across the organization uh, proper collaborations and if any problem with the data is like again you are addressing the data properly transforming the data everything so the ultimate here you have one leg okay so one leg which serves as the central repository of the microsoft fabric it's not mandatory that sh it should be there in the one leg of course it can be in azure sql you can also connect with azure but here one leg is what the central repository will be storing it you have a data factory which enables which orchestrate all the data pipeline seamlessly and also the feature which simplifies the process of data ingestion that is extracting the data from multiple 
location and transforming the data and properly enhance your overall data coherence as well okay so you can do real time analytics here like what is happening you can see uh, you can create alerts for example if any of your sales is dropping down in a specific percentage like if the sales drop down to 50 percentage minus or if the sales is going up for another 10 percentage so immediately you can get an alert from that so this Fabric can be used in any domain or any industry. So you can see here, uh, um, uh, it can be used in the sales, finance, you know, like uh, um, airlines. So any industries you can use it. Even you can use your IoT or customer interaction monitoring as possible with the fabric. It also uses AI and ML capabilities, where you can it it empowers the data scientist. You know, like who should use this. So um, fabric is good for the data engineers who use the large scale data processing they should understand data and do more things with the data so it is used for data scientists as well who are working with ai and machine learning enterprise you know enterprise which are dealing with the real time streaming data and a big data lakes for example let us take a manufacturing company wants to analyze the real time sensor data from machines so they use fabrics real time analytics to process iot data and predict machine learning fail mission failure and using ai okay so you you are target audience or these people like a data scientist it teams looking for comprehensive solutions and um, it may be an enterprise who wants the real time uh, streaming on the data so those who are really okay and well versed in getting the data done okay so let us have a key difference between these two things okay so how you can use the fabric so the primary use is what data and visualization and reporting if you are okay with only the data and visualization you have to go with the power bi if you want to go ahead with end-to-end -end analytics you have to go ahead with the microsoft fabric okay so users look who is the who are the users business analyst okay so when should use who should use fabric so uh, a data engineers data scientists it team you know like those who can really deal with the data and the main person who will be working with the data should use this fabric and uh, um, who should use power bi is what the business analyst decision makers they can use the power bi <clears throat> So collaboration is what Power BI act as the visualization layer in the Microsoft Fabric. And also if you take care about the storage, you know, like Power BI uh, data set, um, your data will be stored in the Power BI desktop like as a snapshot in the Power BI storage itself. Whereas in Fabric, you can go ahead with a one lake or you have many other storage, storage as well. <clears throat> So processing, usually you will be using a DAX or Power Query in data in Power BI specifically. But in Fabric, you will be using Apache Spark, SQL, AI and ML, etc. Integration, if you talk about integration, connects with multiple data sources. But in Fabric, fully integrated with Power BI, AI and Azure. And real-time streaming is what very limited in Power BI. But... Um, if you are just going ahead with a <coughs> Microsoft Fabric, your advanced real-time analytics are possible. And Power BI is suitable for the small and medium data set, whereas Fabric can handle a large enterprise data. <coughs> Choosing the right tool, you know, which one to use, which should use, who should use what. Business analysts who need a quick reports and dashboards, decision makers who want self-service analytics, organizations working with the structured data like Excel, SQL, database, cloud apps, they should use Power BI. Whereas data engineers managing large-scale data processing, data scientists working with AI and enterprises dealing with real-time streaming should work with the Microsoft uh, Fabric. <coughs> so, how your Microsoft Fabric and Power BI works together. Here is where it get interesting. So Power BI and Fabric are not competitors. They actually complement each other. Fabric provides a backend for storing, processing and analyzing their large scale data. Power BI is the front end that visualizes the data stored in the Fabric's one leg. Using direct leg mode, Power BI can connect to Fabric without needing to import data. <clears throat> 
A company stores millions of transactions in one lake. Power Bay connects directly to one lake, whereas your fabric helps to integrate multiple things, store, helps to store the data in a proper way, do all the data related stuff in one place. So you have to choose the right tool based on how you are going to use. This is what. So which one you should use? Use Power BI if you need a dashboard and report, if you want the structured data source, if you want a self-service analytics for a business user. And use Fabric if you need a data engineering, AI or large scale processing, you have to handle a real time analytics or a big data pipeline. You want a unified, you need a unified enterprise data platform. So this is how your Power BI and Microsoft Fabrics work with. So Power BI and Microsoft Fabric are powerful tools, but they serve different purposes. Power BI is great for reporting, while Fabric handles enterprise scale, data processing and AI. If you are looking for end-to-end -end solution, combining both can give you the best result. So try Power BI for visualization and Microsoft Fabric for large scale analytics. So this is the link to access at Microsoft Fabric. So just go ahead and try this Microsoft Fabric, all these recommended items. So you can just select something. You can click on this select and you can just go, go ahead with creating your workspace. So I'm planning to conduct a session on Fabric. OK, so if you have anything in your uh, mind, just please leave your comments below. And here you can find all the upcoming boot camps, everything. So just go ahead and watch this. If you found this session useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the Microsoft technologies. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Have a great day.